you filming or pictures? Now to start this demo, I actually Hello. thought it would be interesting to do a comparison between us and a couple other phones nice in the to market see it. today. Yeah. And as I'm getting Why those all turned on, from left to right, we actually have my, a BlackBerry Torch running on the which is the mm -hmm. latest and greatest BlackBerry. We have an iPhone 4 running the latest uh, firmware, just ran the update last night. And also have the brand new what Samsung Droid Charge, which is the oh, latest and greatest that. dual core 4G LTE Android phone on the horizon. I think I got all the brands in. Jesus. And then we also have oh, Windows Phone running Mango right here as well. Now what uh, I wanted to do is load what we call an HSpeed text. Okay. Basically okay. what that Mango. does is show well, you all the ways AMOLED that you display. can use HTML5 capabilities yeah. in terms of the way that it renders the page, the hardware acceleration yeah, which it yeah. renders, Big difference. and basically spits back a frames Big count difference. and lets you know who Why finishes first. It's basically all about how fast you can load a page using the rendering engine. And so for that I'm going to load up all the favorites on these screens, so and this get as close to is not actually coming as possible. Market. No. I'm going to kind of work from left to right, so Blackberry will get a little bit of a head start. So HTML5 speed oh, reading, fantastic. Let's I'll do it. The settings too on mine. All right. So it looks like the Blackberry is running about four frames a second. The iPhone hasn't quite started yet. Ten frames a second on the dual core Android phone, and then we're humming along at about 26, 25 frames a second. Why don't you go to a battery saver? And it looks like saver? indeed what Mango has just finished. Yeah, I think so. The Android's coming a, along. About, iPhone hasn't see, quite started yet, and Blackberry is on the edge here, so, coming along uh, at four frames a second. And so what that really proves is that we, yeah, the internet browser, same browser as IE9, same oh, browser on the phone. We've got see. that. And we're gonna have a fantastic so browsing experience point, for people that want to be able to load pages, do graphics, seven, six, and have an application like experience seven, zero. with hardware acceleration inside of the phone. But so we wanted said to take that to the next level. The, and that's really hub, about how we people participate hub? and interact with Bing look. on the phone. Bing is not an app on Windows Phone. It's in fact an integrated experience that just oh, yeah, weaves groups, itself throughout yeah, the groups. entire phone experience. Yeah. You'll notice we've actually upgraded Bing for Windows Phone Mango. You notice change? a bunch of different icons. It's giving me some location information. Uh, and we'll talk it. about some of those things. Just search now. for something. And, uh, but one of the things you want to do is no, make same. decisions, find answers. Mm -hmm. And so if I, I want to see a movie later tonight, else? for instance, I heard Water for Elephants yeah, is kind of good. I'm going to go ahead and type that in on the screen right now. And even within a few letters, it starts giving us suggestions based on what's available on the internet. If I search for water for elephants, it actually uses my location, location and the time of day. Looks and instead of giving me a bunch of blue links, instead gives me the movie times. Well, and we do this in Windows Phone I guess 7 you today. Can, because this is a now, test unit, there's not much here mango, for settings. With a new what about, enter, what about IE9? When I tap on the show times, kind of it takes me to the oh, card for that. this movie, yeah. where it gives me the rating, the genre, the synopsis, all the things that I'd actually want to know about the movie instead of taking me to a separate website. I'll just see about the I see all here. the show times, those are available for me right here. And we actually uh, blur the lines the between location. the internet search that I've just Let started up, and um, applications. And so using a new feature called App Connect, we can hand off seamlessly and effortlessly not a lot between there. searches well, that you do on the phone as far as and the features. applications here's, that are most suited to, to complete those searches. So um, IMDB, so I have on my phone, it turns out it's really good for finding movie information. It's, it's a very different. immersive application. There's more, that but they actually may be where I want to terminate right? my search. I want to start talking yeah. about Otter for nothing, Elephants, nothing and then it hands useful. off uh -huh. using app shortcuts directly to the part of so, the app so that I care about, seen about four changes all the information about Water for Elephants. <laughs> so you see that we blur the line between applications and internet search with Mango. We take this a couple steps further, though. If I go ahead and search for a restaurant, yeah, we didn't see it anyway. Oh, let's see the if the marketplace has changed. Despite my typo, it still finds it. They said that had to be. We understand that this is a location, and so it starts us on the local tab instead of the web search tab, for instance. And I can get a quick card for this restaurant where it has the photo of the front of the restaurant. It gives me hours of operation categories. I can read all the reviews. So we bring together all the social enter all the social information you would want for this as well. Yeah, it is I can read all those ratings, and this is pulling from Urban Spoon. Yelp and all these different services That's available on Bing today. Yeah, the and finally, we look. bring together context. You'll notice it actually has a link here where it's identified the neighborhood that this restaurant yeah, the, is the transitions If I tap on that, it now. takes me mm -hmm. into a brand new experience in Mango called Local Scout. Local Scout allows me to live like a local. I can see, see everything searching. that's going on in a given neighborhood and explore the world around me. By the way, I can see everything there is to when you go into drink. a section, I can scroll you can over and see what there is to see so and do. You'll notice that it has yeah, things like farmers before, markets, right? it has search stores, games. It has all of the points of interest oh, yeah. that Let's, are really important to this with the given around neighborhood seven, available right here. I can see uh, all the shopping that's nearby and categorize that as well. 
And then finally, yeah, it keeps track right of all my favorites. Place. So when I land in new cities or I figure out where I like to be, I just favorite all of these items, and it will always represent yeah, it's those. Yeah, much fast. It's much faster I now. Show up in local scout later. So I can see here that I actually have a couple things so that are favorite. Oh, the Manhattan games. Mall is close by. Maybe I want to get some mm, new threads it. for the movie. Thanks for your patience, everyone. And I can go in and tap in that and bring in the quick card for Manhattan Mall. Now, one thing you may notice right back away is that after. we actually have indoor maps as well. So instead of just showing this location on a map and where it sits, we actually go straight into the Bing Maps experience, which has now been enhanced with indoor maps for malls and other public locations. How many times have you gone to a store and you'd want to know where in the mall it actually is? And so here I can see same, that indeed Aeropostale is right there. Mm. I can what about when you actually levels? click on a game or a, a title? What what? Has the layout changed? And all that is brought back together. Let's now, if I go back into the local here. scout experience, there is one other thing I don't think that I want to check out. Installed. Yeah. You see, with the local scout, we no, bring I mean, together I mean, like when you actually view an, uh, and part of that a title is showing in the marketplace. Is the layout the same? Beyond what you may expect, yeah. which is hours of operation is the same. Yeah. And, and, and phone calls and things that you would expect mm. from a kind of a mapping type of, of information card. Screen so for that, you'll actually notice Madison Square Garden has a card here as well. Related. Now, instead of just giving me that all that there. basic information and hours operation, we actually bring all of the upcoming events that are coming to these areas as well. We've scraped the web and brought all of this forward. So you can see, in fact, Josh Groban yeah, is yeah. coming soon. I'll make sure to calendar. mark my calendar. All of that's available right that here looks as well. The same. So yeah. you hopefully are starting to get the sense that we're weaving together the web's information, presenting it to you in these cards, and allowing you to take action by connecting to applications. The final thing I wanted to show in that area is how we actually use sensors to start a search and then have it completed with all the things that I've just described. There's nothing on here. Yeah. With Bing, we have the ability the local, with Windows Phone 7 to change, do a text search and to do a search with your voice. The local but now search. we've added mm -hmm. Bing Vision as well. I actually borrowed a book from Andy. Uh, he was reading it on the way over. It's Miley Cyrus' latest uh, biography. Scan bar it's a fantastic codes. read. That's and uh, I'm going to go yeah. ahead and do a search for this book to find more information. The way that I'm going to do Wait, that is actually yeah, with a visual search. At the so built into the phone, I just hit the little I. Voice. And I hover over the book. That's and I can just as easily be doing this with QR codes, with barcodes, mm -hmm. and it, you it and will automatically start yeah. detecting what the book is. I tap just there, see. and I'm brought to a quick card for the book, where I give them given a description. I'm same. seeing the lowest price, two dollars seventy-four cents. Fantastic. I can yeah, see the ratings the of the book, so I can decide cool. whether or not it's going to be a good buy for me. And so I can also see here. all the different prices. See if you can find the other four hundred and ninety like features. Before, we also connect it's to all the in one apple that actually have a lot to do with books. Best Buy sells books, Office. Amazon Shopping sells books, and you know what? Kindle's actually pretty good at books as well. Angle. So if I go out and tap on Kindle, it'll take me straight into the Kindle app, and using this app shortcut, it hands off all the data that it just captured, which is the name, the book, the description, and it will bring me into the Kindle store so that I can this find that book, yeah. and then I'll be able to purchase that book and have it delivered to my phone. So we'll load up the Kindle store here, Miles Pro, oh, perfect Kindle yeah. edition, auto-delivered wirelessly. I could. Well, it I looked like it was this in a matter of Skydrive, seconds, by the way. you know, that'll load up and I can go ahead and try a sample or purchase the book and have it delivered to my Windows phone, just it's like you can It's synced the with uh, Skydrive. Oh, yeah, because I added a few, right? So I've yeah. gone literally from taking a picture of something with Bing so Vision, locations. handing that off into Sky an drive. application, and now I'll be reading that book all in a matter of seconds. I want to go and see the documents. Well, that's it for the <laughs> demos today. Hope phone. you enjoyed them, and thanks a lot. Well, maybe there's a test doc. Yeah, you know, I figured stay out of that. Yeah. Office so 365. Work the phone has become SharePoint. A Wait, that's new, right? The Office 365 yeah. integration. With yeah. i9, we harness the full power of so you the phone actually have an account. and the internet and mm. provide app-like experiences in the browser. That's cool. But with Mango, the internet goes beyond the browser. You can find answers and act with integrated search using location, voice, text, and pictures. And we scrape the web for you to bring together the key information and actions new. from across a variety of different websites oh, into a single place with yeah, quick cards. Yeah, that, that's for the U.S. You can only, discover the yeah. world around you so Actually, that you can live like a local. Or they call that hyper search where it searched within a 25 scale. kilometer radius. And finally, here. we blur the lines between the internet yeah, it works and here. phone apps mm. using App Connect. Because after all, 
an answer in your hand is worth two. On this your is PC. all picking up local stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, so far, we have That's shown you how Windows Phone Mango makes it smarter and easier for communications, like internet, and applications. That's pretty good. And we've demoed that. a host of new capabilities like groups, threads, multitasking, uh, live files, IE9, local scout, and app connect. These are some of the important capabilities, the new features that we deliver uh, with Windows Phone Mango. But there's a lot more than we have time to show today. In Find fact, there are more than says. 500 new features. And Don't so we'll be going well, through and taking the, these the in more depth over Find the coming weeks, including people. new capabilities in music, oh, this maps, looks like it's calendar, like Google's Wanda, latitude. and social networking. Oh, yeah. This someone, certainly right? is a very yeah. big release and one that would be worth waiting for. But the good news is, is that we're not going to make you wait. Does that only work with Windows This release 7, will be available probably. in the fall, um, and that is less than 12 months uh, since we launched Windows Phone 7. Users will get this through a free upgrade. They'll receive a notification that's, on their oh, that's, phone that's just telling them in. to just simply mm -hmm. plug those it apps, into their those are just PC, OEM apps, and then right? all of these mm. capabilities will come down and their phone will be upgraded. Does it have the digitizer? How many points can it recognize? The, the digitizer and test? And we did that through two strategies. No, 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 a focus on see innovation that. of software okay. on the phone with the consumer at the center. But this also, we talked about the need for a vibrant ecosystem. The ecosystem is made up of developers, service by Microsoft providers, employees. operators, oh. and handset right. makers. So I have no idea what that is. Now we've had fantastic momentum since launch. And Mango, we are expecting a significant acceleration with the support that we get uh, from Microsoft? our partners. Is that Microsoft? No. We started out seven months it looks ago like an app. with zero That's applications an app. in our marketplace. And today hey, we do have me a favor, go to Howard Forms. This is the Howard Forms app I'm pleased to be able to announce that today we're making available the Mango tools uh, so that developers can start writing their applications right today uh, so that they're ready for when it'll they ask you if you want to grab the, the Howard Forms app when you go to the uh, website. I think that dot .com button is new. The second I area think is how before. services did. really well, help users do new scenarios on the phone. Well, as you've seen, we build okay, core services app. into the main phone experience. And you've seen how we've enhanced things like Windows Live and Facebook. Let's put it on his we support phone. new services like Twitter, Make sure you pin LinkedIn, it to his, and uh, Office 365. To his homepage. And also, through the capability of Windows Live Connect, you can enhance further social networks cool. um, into your experience. Oh, and of course, you have installing right from there. Nice. In April, we announced uh, with Skype that they'll be designing an application for Mango for the first time that will mean that you can Skype your friends on Windows Phone My Mango. Uh -oh. and the third area is Stalling operators. Out. Now, Let's operators do a lot more than just light up the phone with connectivity and distribute phones uh, and provide customer service. We're enabling use, uh, cool, operators works. to add significant value through the software and services that they um, uh, provide with Windows Phone Mango. The great news with, with Mango is that we will be supporting a lot more geographies. So we'll have a lot of new operator partners that we'll be announcing uh, over the coming months. Hey, go back we to the settings. What, 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 can, this is it services, say more about the hardware on countries. here? They said these are dual core phones. phones uh, so that we can increase the addressable market. In fact, the addressable market for Mango is four times larger the than event. the addressable market it's, yeah, it's was about for more Windows Phone. And then more so. information. The final but piece of the ecosystem screen. jigsaw is handset makers. Revision numbers. In the Windows Phone 7, we had great support oh, okay. from HTC, Storage Samsung, and LG. Well, I'm pleased to be it able to say, say that they'll all be launching okay. new phones um, that run Windows Phone hey, does Mango. This, does this prototype and have a memory card uh, for them, SD card uh, to have slot more on choice it? for consumers, including 4G phones. I guess it's hard I'm to also see. pleased that today we're announcing some new um, hardware partners nope. who will provide what about under the Mango, cover? Including Acer, remember on the Windows Phone 7, the SD card, all new to the Windows it doesn't work quite the same. More choice, more price points in more geographies. And finally, in February, we announced oh, our yeah. strategic partnership mm -hmm. yep, with a micro Nokia SD slot, that goes so I guess maybe more Windows Phone 7s will be Nokia brings mm -hmm. scale and innovation to the ecosystem. They sold more than cool. 400 so million phones Windows in phone the last 12 phone. months and over 100